my friends and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. In our last video, I was very emotional because I thought Grunt died to save me, but he didn't and he survived. The Rachni have now teamed up with us and currently we are running around the ship chit-chatting with everybody post-mission. Now I have relocated since I last left you just down to the shuttle bay so that I could talk to Lieutenant Cortez maybe if he's here he's hiding somewhere and then also James and then also to talk to my puppy so that we can have a hopefully happier video today is this lieutenant Cortez over here maybe there he is the munitions you carry into the field deserve at least a triple check thank you shuttles primed for the next drop shuttles primed for the next drop I I do really like how the environment changes around me in my ships people relocate can we have a can we have a good pet session you want some pets? No? 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 Okay. Okay, fine. All right, James. Something snarky, please. Rachni? Of all the things to... It's like you got the opposite of a horseshoe up your ass. What? Uh, I... Uh, the head? I don't... Okay. <laughs> Grunt is crazier than you, and that's saying something. You're better looking, at least. So this is, <laughs> did he just say Grunt was better looking than me? I missed that because I was going to say something. But I, some of you said that the you explained the Lola nickname and that the male shepherd would have been Loco. But I feel like Loca would have fit my shepherd perfectly well because I feel like she's just as crazy as a male shepherd would be because James thinks we're, clearly thinks we're all crazy. <laughs> so I feel like that would have been a perfect nickname if you didn't do the, the banter, flirty banter stuff. So th 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 there's my thoughts. No, no pets. You're just gonna wander. It's okay, it's fine. I'm, it's fine. All right, let's go to engineering. Hmm, let's go. Oh, to Javik. Maybe Grunt's in here? No. And he's not talking to anybody either. Interesting. Commander, I did not expect to face the Rachni in this cycle, but I am not surprised. You said you used them as weapons? Yeah. Biological proxies. It was before I was born, but every Prothean had heard the stories. When we knew of them, the Rachni spent their lives singing thoughts to each other. But our scientists were more interested in their biology. The Rachni were well suited to harsh conditions. So we bred them for violence, selecting the most cunning and warlike of the queens. Then we unleashed them upon our enemies. For a time, it worked, until they became too cunning and warlike and turned on us. We put them down before they could develop any further. We thought they had been exterminated. Yet it seems our experiment evolved into this cycle's nemesis. I, I mean, like, they were a nemesis for quite a while. So it sounds to me that Protheans used Arachni kind of like how the Salarians used the Krogan, only the Prothean were worse about it, maybe? <sighs> Just all sorts of awful. There was no such thing as trusting the Arachni in our cycle. They were animals. But if they will fight the Reapers now, so be it. Yeah, I would love it if you would, like, turn around and talk to me. <laughs> it's gotta be bad on your neck. I am glad I met the Grunt Krogan. Living in his quarters, I have come to know him better. He will fight the Reapers with great ferocity. And he's alive. That's the most important bit. <laughs> I would prefer to be alone. I would prefer to be alone. Okay, fine. I feel like I haven't been clicking on Javik. I, I click on him once after each quest, but not multiple times. So I feel like I might have missed dialogue, but that's what second playthroughs are for, right? But I really want my next one to be full, awful, renegade, make all the poor choices. I don't know if I can do it, though, but I'm nowhere near that point <laughs> in my gaming life. So I'm I'm not going to worry about it. Not sure what to think about that little mech dog roaming the ship. You mean Sophie? I think she's cute. What purpose does she serve? To be I cute. Guess I have a soft spot for worthless dogs. Look how long I've been with you. <laughs> Her name's Sophie. Oh, she's so precious. Sometimes keeping the grid balanced is pure murder. All good, Commander. 
All good, Commander. Commander? Commander? Adams? Need anything, Commander? Hmm. Oh, Cabby Dennel? Daniels Dennels. <laughs> How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp <laughs> and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. And Ken Donnelly? How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. <laughs> Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. Okay, um, Edie? What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first. Okay, we did that. AI. Yeah, but I... And then there you were never the... Expressed I figured out... Taken. <laughs> but Joker seemed to... I think we've done... I think we've done the rest of these, so... Carry on, Adams. Great. Aye, aye, ma'am. Okay, so engineering seems to be done. Let's double check... Cargo. That must get your mouth watering. Can't do a story. That's as classified as it gets. I suppose it would cause a panic, but wouldn't the news drive up recruiting? It might also piss off a Krogan with diplomatic immunity. No thanks. Thanks. You guys have explained her purpose here and I appreciate that. <laughs> Are they, is the list getting longer? I don't think so. Concerns me that there's all this space to be filled in. Oh, are you just hanging out here until Morden leaves? Commander. You probably totally are. No one, no one taking time off? Okay, that's fine. So there is a whole poker room next door, or down over there, rather. And I do wonder if people are going to, at some point, I'm gonna wander in, they're gonna be playing poker. Wasn't the first time I faced Ragnime. Really? You've seen them before? A few years back, on Novaria, Saren and his minions were trying to extract information from the Ragnai Queen. You saw the Queen? Hell, we spoke to her. I can't imagine that. The things you've done, sir, they're amazing. Well, it didn't seem that way at the time. Mostly, you're just clawing your way out of one mess and into another, hoping your ass comes along for the ride. Hi. Am I interrupting? I was trying to say, I wonder if I'm going to walk into people playing poker at, at, or, or some variation of poker at some point. No one left all their mess behind them. Hi, Garrus. Just one word, Shepard. Grunt. There'll be a lot more dead reapers now. Yeah, he's alive. <laughs> Siding with the giant spiders again, huh, Shepard? <laughs> Let's hope this finally pays off. <laughs> Most people have never even seen Arachni. The Normandy, we're a regular safari tour. We are. <laughs> if I never see another spider again, I'll die a contented Turian. Unless they have spiders in the afterlife. Damn. Maybe, I don't, maybe they'll be nice. I, no, no. Another time, maybe. Are you busy or something? Anything else? No? Okay. Are you the guy who's been walking around in circles for like the entire game? <laughs> Doctor, I'd like to hear the song. Again? Trying to calculate amino acid decay rates. You said you would once the tests were done. <sighs> song? Oh, better to die to a thresh a maw with shotgun blasting, roaring raw than to play ambassadorial games with the blood of Shiaka in her veins. <laughs> Off to fight since Turians can't, with diplomats instead of a crant, but she'll be true to Duchanka's dream and live and die a Krogan queen. For... She is the Krogan Queen, hurrah, hurrah for the Krogan Queen. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Krogan Queen. <laughs> Still prefer patter songs. <laughs> of course. 
I really had to twist your arm. Oh my god, that was the best thing! Oh, oh, Morton, you know how to cheer a girl up. Oh, did you like that song, Eve? I love that song. That was so great. You guys have nothing to Shepherd, say, though, right? Eve, ready for travel to Tuchanka. No. Nice talking with you. We'll be here if you need. Continuing to study Shroud in me. Okay, hang on. Something else, Commander. Okay, that's it for you two. Thanks for talking to me. It's my pleasure, Commander. Oh, but the song, the singing. Oh my god, that was so amazing. <laughs> I love Warren so much. Let's see. Anything else going on? Is there like a second version of Garrus over here? Probably not, but you know, it doesn't hurt to check. No. I'm going to Liara's office. She's not going to be there because she wants to talk to me about something in my quarters. Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five Exonex Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. I thought we were supposed to be meeting up later. In my room? No, close. There we go. Okay, email from Dr. Loke to Admiral Hackett. Security almost opened fire on the Rachni when their ships pulled up to the Crucible, Admiral. I had to invoke your name more than once before they, they were let on board. They're following instructions, but my God, do I have to tell you how nervous everyone on the project is to see Rachni strutting down the halls. They almost gave Professor Lau a fit. I'll let you know how our next staff meeting goes. <laughs> Dr. Luke. Yeah, yeah. Audio Law Grunt addresses new Arla company recruits. Recruits still don't understand why they put a tank grown freak in charge of a whole company. Grunt, laughter. And I don't understand why they gave me whining pijacks for soldiers. Recruit, I have more years on the battlefield than you have kills, runt. Grunt then says, trying to meet with Solarian females doesn't count as fighting. <laughs> Recruit, no one talks to... Grunt, someone help him up. We move in an hour. Yeah, I feel like that's very Krogan. <laughs> I had something I wanted to show you, Shepard. Could we meet in your cabin when you have a moment? Yes, I thought you were just going to meet me there, but it's okay. Please, enjoy your day. You you, t you too, Mr. Glyph. Bye. Okay. All right, we did CIC already, so let's go to my cabin. Save. Invite Liara. Okay, hang on. Anything else new here? Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up. Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? Oh, well, way to get it all emotional again, Liara. Um, you sure it's gonna last? Like, is it all black box material or something? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. 
And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? Make me inspiring. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll just let you decide. You know me well enough to fill in the blanks, Liara. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. I'd like it to be your call. Well, I'll say Commander Shepard was born on Mindwar, but never let what happened there define her. Shepard could handle any weapon in the galaxy. The Alliance never saw a deadlier soldier. She was a soldier and a leader, one who made peace where she could. And it was a privilege to know her. Careful this doesn't sound like a diary. I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. Well, so are you, Liara. You've been there for me too, Liara. No, I haven't. I wish I could have joined you back on Ilium. You made up for it. Well, I suppose I did just write your name in the stars. <laughs> All right, that was, that was, why does the game keep making me cry? That's like two videos in a row now. I need, I need, I need a break. <laughs> but, oh, the music was so beautiful and so sad and it was so beautiful and so sad. And okay, that's everybody caught up with. Let's go and do something mundane, like look at planets. Cause I have to do some scanning in this system before we can Move on to what I want to do next. That was really good. That was a really good conversation with Liara. It was really smart, honestly, to do as well. And that was a really good quest. Okay, so I have saved. I'm gonna scan. Let's scan over here, maybe. No. Reapers aren't coming. They leave. It's weird. There are no war assets or things to find. Well, I guess there was a war asset over here. It was the the Rachni. I wonder if there's nothing in this cluster to find because it's a Rachni systems and there wouldn't be anything Alliance or other species related. And that's why there's been nothing to scan and find, maybe? I don't... Maybe? <laughs> okay, well, I do want to move on to a new system, but I want to try to find the system that is for N7 Cerberus Abductions because it's on Benning, and I have another quest for Benning to go and do. And it's, it's just to find evidence of a son who was lost during a mission on Benning. And we just need to find out what happened to his son and then go back and tell him what happened to his son. But then N7 Cerberus abductions is that they're attacking civilians on Benning for reasons that I don't, it's like Cerberus has completely lost it. Land on Benning and provide protection while civilians are evacuated. So I figure we can go and do that. What new system we can uh, explore and scan that one. I just gotta figure out which one it is. No, it's still there. I'm thinking it must be Cerberus Abductions, the Arcturus stream. <laughs> the one that's labeled Cerberus Abductions. Okay, so the quest is in the next system and there's just the two of them. Such a big, huge sun again. I love it. Arcturus Station. That's the one that's always being brought up in the news, right? Where the, I don't want to say council, parliament, uh, congress was at. But anyway, let's, let's read some planets. 
Alcyonis is a sizable asteroid, one of many towed through the mass relay to help build Arcturus Station in this metal poor system. They towed an asteroid through the mass effect relay. Okay. I didn't think that was a thing, but apparently it is. <laughs> like many of the asteroids in this in the belt, miners built small habitats on Alcyonis to live closer to their ex excavation sites. When the station was finished, a transient population moved in. Belt communities were too small for the reapers to bother harvesting. Blasts from their weapons pierced the habitat's protective domes and burned through anti-collision kinetic barriers. As far as can be told, the belt's population is now zero. Or is it? Maybe, maybe they escaped. You never know, right? Lying at the L5 Lagrangian point of Themis are the fused metal fragments of Arcturus Station destroyed by Reaper capital ships. The station once housed the Systems Alliance Parliament, that's the word I was looking for, and the nerve center of their military armada. Now it is a cold grave for 45,000 people. That's where... The guy in the Citadel, the ambassador, Udina, all of his friends were at, and he was really broken up about it, which he, he, you would be. It, it, you should be broken about it, up about it in general, but anyway. A hydrogen helium gas giant, Themis is one of Arcturus's stable satellites. It rapidly orbits the massive star. Or is there anything else around here that I missed? Probably not, because the star is so big. Okay, one of Arcturus's hydrogen helium gas giants, Aaron Arene, had infrastructure in place for fueling civilian and military starships, the helium-3 and anti-protons. None of this infrastructure has survived the Reapers. No, no one did not. Eunomia is a largely made of ice frozen around a metal poor core. Its deposits were of little use to the humans building Arcturus Station who favored materials from the asteroids towed into the system. Eunomia lies neglected in the void. There is no obvious Reaper presence here. But there is in the system. I'm wondering, there's probably something... I wonder where the... Um... I would guess the, the fuel depot would be over here, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, let's back out and then I'll save and then we'll go scan. So let's scan near here. I found something. Okay. Intel from Battle of Arcturus. Okay. Okay, we need to scan quickly. Oh, okay, here we go. Another one. Ah, here's the fuel depot. Perfect. And 100% done. Amazing. I like it when it's like two. <laughs> it makes it a whole lot easier. Oh, it looks like I only have one more to find over here, probably. It's such a big map. I would think that there would be more systems to go to, but not, not, not so much. So we have Euler. And then Benning is there. Let's planets first, then we'll do the quest, and then we'll scan afterwards since I have to leave anyway. So, Fermi is a rock wrapped in a haze of carbon dioxide and oxygen. Though its temperatures and concentrations make it difficult to support life, many moons and debris are in its immediate vicinity, leading researchers to believe that at some point, Fermi was impacted by something large, launching fragments of the planet into orbit. The wreckage from a scientific station can be detected here. More evidence of the Reaper's presence in the system. Oh, I wonder if you're the planet I need to scan. All right, let's read Benning. Benning, the nearest garden world to Arcturus Station, is the primary source of its food supply and an important staging area for starship maintenance and repair. Occupying the planet would be key in any attempt to retake the system's relay. Scattered intelligence indicates that during the battles of Arcturus and Earth, 
the Reapers sent a small force to Benning to destroy its convoys, spaceports, and starships. With the population immobilized and communications cut, the main force concentrated on the larger prize, knowing they could return before repairs could be made or help could arrive. Heat sources in Benning's space indicate a non-Reaper presence here. Population estimate is pre-invasion, 2.25 million. Yeah. Cerberus is is the are the ships that they're they're referencing, I'm sure. Yukawa is a small rock planet with a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide. After a labor dispute with companies shipping metallic asteroids to the nearby Arcturus systems, Yukawa's iron core and blanket of hematite were briefly mined to aid in the construction of Arcturus Station. Yukawa's reputation as the scab planet persists to this day as its other resources are not particularly notable. Okay. <laughs> it's like a abused and neglected planet, poor thing. And finally we have named for Matthias Silva, leader of the prospector team that unearthed the Prothean archives on Mars. This ice giant was once home to a large recovery operation for helium-3. In its heyday, the helium-3 flowed freely here to fuel merchant ships commuting from Benning to Arcturus. An infrastructure on Silva has been destroyed along with the colony on Oliveira, its moon. Is the moon available to click on? It doesn't look like it. All right, let's actually, since I only have one defined here, let's back out and save. Let's see if I can find it. Cause I would think it would be here at this planet. Signal confirmed. Oh, not, or not, not at all. Oh, <laughs> fuel depot. Okay, that is, that was it. Okay, well, let's head down to Benning. I need to bring somebody other than Garrus. <laughs> I know I've been bringing him a lot, but it's it's been, he's it's been useful conversations, right? We'll bring Edie, and we'll bring James. Let me info James. Shields, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna leave him at shields, maybe. Hmm, let's see. Cycle appearance. What was the other one where you look like that? Weapon damage. Well, let's try it and see how he does. It's been a while since I brought him. So he should have lots of upgrades to to do. Okay, I'm not changing out my sniper rifle. I'm fine with that. And then Let's modify his weapons, maybe. Armor piercing and then magazine upgrade. Do I have... Stability damper increases weapon stability. No. No. Extended barrel, there we go. That's the one I wanted. And then firm. Wait, didn't you guys say it never runs out of ammo? So I don't really need this, do I? Rounds for magazine, okay. And then, um, we'll just leave that as that is. And then Edie should also be fine. So I need incendiary ammo. What do I need? I need six points, I'm almost there. Edie, I like her. Overload is good for her. Decoy's also been funny. But I think the overload is one I'll use more. Incapacitate weaker organic enemies for a short duration or increases recharge speed. I think I'll go with that one. Stunning your enemy. That's not the one I've been using. Incinerate is the one I've been using. And then increases damage or radius. Let's do damage. And then James. Carnage. Rip a target into shreds. Yes, let's. Well, hang on. Arms Master. Why didn't I finish this one? So we increase squadmate's health and shields by 20%, or increases his health shields bonuses by 40%, and increases melee damage. Um. Let's go with that one. And then let's go into. 
carnage. Incapacitates enemies by knocking them down or recharge speed. Hmm. Let's do recharge speed. And I think that's it, so let's go. Shepard, Cerberus strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigation suggests that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate, and the Cerberus squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. Building an avalanche of civilian SOS requests, Commander. The bulk are concentrated on the upper street. Cerberus forces are pinning them down. You'd better hurry. On my way. Keep me updated. Roger that. Okay. Let's see. We need to go help civilians. Can I save? I can't. Really? I can't save? Alright, let's fix our weapons. And our ammunition. Incendiary ammo for James. Incendiary ammo for me. And Edie just gets to be Edie. We need to keep an eye out for this other guy's kid, too. Awesome, James. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no! Use your use your carnage. Turret. Um, not an engineer, at least. Hmm. Overload, maybe? What is it, Lieutenant? I'm tracking civilians fleeing the city with Cerberus troops right behind. Oh no. Where are they? Updating your nav point. You can intercept them there. Gotta double time it. Oh, okay, but I can't. I got I got stuff I gotta look for. Okay, I'm so sorry, civilians. I'm horrible. I'm so horrible. I, I really am. I make poor choices for everybody. So I came this way because there was a woman in bed and spare parts salvage. Or, oh, he's not, he's not a woman, and he is no longer with us. Okay. Seems to be ammunition here. That's good. Okay, I need to go down that way. And where I came in at, I think. I'm, I'm, yes, I hear all the people dying around me. I'm, I'm, I'm horrible, I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dog tag. Mm -hmm. 
Did I, was this the guy's dog tag for his son? Not that the journal will tell me. Maybe? I assume so. <laughs> that was very random. Very easily missable too, I think. Oh, oh, madam. Oh, she vanished. Okay. Keep jumping. All right, can we fight them from up here? Because that would actually be kind of excellent. All right, not, not the best of ideas without cover. But I did like being coming from above. It's entirely possible you might not. I might actually save you. Oh, here we go. Spare parts. If one of you mentioned in the comments that you've got to get pretty close sometimes to see the interact button, and you really do. We die. We die together. Oh. I I can't take more crying right now. I, I really I really don't want to. And this is back up to where I was. Okay. Enforcements are here. Try to stay calm. What? What should we do? Run. Just stay down. Commander, more Cerberus troops are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give the civilians time to escape. You heard him. We hold here. I don't want to die. Oh, there they are. Get to the landing pad. I'm so scared. Very nice to try to sneak up on me. Hmm. Incinerate. Oh, 
Oh no, really? It might help if I had weapons. Ammo on it. James. Ha! <laughs> like, no! <laughs> Ammo! Thank goodness. No hostiles detected in the immediate area, Commander. Reinforcements are moving in to secure the evac route. Good work, everyone. I'll pick you up at the LZ, Commander. All right, so we are good to go now, it sounds like. But I, I, I have so many more things I want to go look at. I mean, it's probably not that many more things. The shuttle's right over there, and... I've explored all these buildings here on the left, so it's really just finishing exploring over here a bit, I think. And then that's that, right? Oh, 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 PDA. Be careful, Nemo, if you can read this. Stay away from the taxi stand. That place is crawling with Cerberus soldiers, Ellie. Okay, salvage some spare parts. And, ooh, med station for sure. And, 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 I think this brings me back to the beginning, perhaps? Maybe? Been here, I've been in there. Okay, I remember all that. All right, I think we made the full circuit and I found a dog tag. So that means I should have an update in theory for the guy back on the Citadel. Let's more weapons, just, 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 just in case. Did I just save two civilians and that was it? Or am I just a distraction so that more civilians could get away? Crazy setup, it reminds me of something. I don't know what it is, something for a movie, I think. Very cool setup. Okay, ready to go? You guys ready? We're getting reports of continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual M.O. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying the foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. I mean, it's something, right? 
better than nothing, I suppose. But I think this is actually where I'm going to pause here for today. But in tomorrow's video, I have another, I think, N7 Cerberus quest I want to look at. It might take me to another system that I can also scan and explore. And if we manage to finish all of that, we can head back to the Citadel and start turning in some of these quests. But we'll see how much that actually gets done, because who knows? <laughs> but as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe, and I will see you again tomorrow with another new Mass Effect 3 video.